Greetings folks, I have another action cam review. This is the Elephone Rexo Explorer K 4K Wi-Fi camera made by Elephone and from Gearbest. This is an interesting action cam. It uses a chip and sensor that I'm not aware of. It's the uh, high silicon HI3559 chip and a Panasonic MN34120 sensor. I'm not too sure where that sits in my grading scheme of uh, low quality, mid-range and high quality, but uh, let's check it out. We get a nice little hard carry case. I really like these carry cases. I think all action cams should come with them. And we get a 30 meter waterproof housing. Pretty standard stuff. And quite a few accessories as well. Just have a look at the accessories. But before we look at the accessories, let's have a look at the camera itself. Now we're recording with the Rexo Explorer K. Just as a comparison to the SAM20, which is what I usually use for these camera reviews. Now the Rexo has a stereo microphone, so hopefully they've paid a bit of attention to the audio quality, so we'll see how that sounds. So now we're listening to the audio from the uh, Rexo camera itself using the stereo microphone and just in my noisy shed environment. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's have a look at the goodies. So we get the 30 meter underwater housing. There's the little camera, I'll have a closer look at that later on. We get a, a tripod mount uh, naked housing as well, very essential. This one doesn't have a tripod mount in the bottom, which is unfortunate. I do like that. Various connectors, brackets, handlebar mount, clip mount with sticky pads, more sticky pads and a, a leash. Some cable ties, some straps clip for the naked housing, another clip mount, angle mounts, tripod mount, all the usual accessories, another clip mount, cleaning cloth, and instruction manual. There's the front, we've got this sort of shiny, it is only plastic front cover, lens, couple of LEDs and the on off button. The settings changing button on the other side, the screen and nothing else on the back. Mini USB and micro HDMI on the left hand side. On the top we have, I think that's a little speaker, shutter button and indicator LED. And on the bottom we get uh, the SD card. It does recommend that you use uh, U3 class at least. Uh, so that's the SanDisk Extreme style cards. The SanDisk Ultra isn't really fast enough for 4K 30 frames a second. And the battery door, let me pull the battery out, and we have a 1200 milliamp hour, 4.4 watt hour, 3.7 volt LiPo. That's a decent size. All right, let's turn it on and have a look at the menu structure. That sound is absolutely terrible, and you can't turn it off, unfortunately, so... Elephone, with your first firmware update, please get rid of that turn on sound, it's awful. As usual, you push the shutter button at the top to start and stop recording, and we get a little uh, counter here telling you how long you've been recording, what percentage is left on the SD card, your battery charge level, the mode you're in, uh, and the resolution and the time remaining left. You push the front mode button here to change between record, photo, multi-photo and settings. Wi-Fi on and off, looking at the files and back to video recording. If we go to photo, then you can see same sort of thing. It tells you the resolution, pixel size, number of photos you can take. There we go. Now, if you push the little Wi-Fi button on the side there, we can change from video to slow motion loop recording, time-lapse recording. I've done some fun time-lapses, so I'll show you them in a minute. Video plus photo at the same time, and back to video. And by pushing the front button, you can go down and change the resolution. This is 1080, 30 frames a second, 4K 30, 2K 60. You don't get a choice of 2K 30 for some reason. 1080, 60, 1080, 30, and back to 4K 30. Let's have a look at the video settings so we can yeah it's 
It's a bit fiddly getting this <laughs> sequence right. Okay, pushing the front button. Turn the microphone on and off. You can flip the image recording upside down. On-screen display, on or off. You can encode with H.264 or H.265. H.265 is a sort of a newer video compression uh, coding. It gives you the same quality video with less file size. You'll see more of that probably in new cameras. Change from NTSC to PAL, light frequency, uh, distortion correction. You can turn off a bit of that uh, fisheye effect, I suppose. Image stabilization only works with 1080p, uh, but you can turn that on and off. And we're back to SD card. You can format the SD card. System setup. Choose the start mode, the auto turn off, uh, the auto dormant. Set up the time, set up the language, have the LEDs flashing or not, do a factory reset and back to the beginning. Info tells you about the camera and you can see we're on version 1 of the firmware and uh, I think there are some changes that will need, be, need to be done to future versions of the software. There are a few little anomalies with this camera that need to be fixed up. Anyway, we'll look at them a bit later on. Alright, let's go and have a look at some real examples. That's a sort of a land. K okay, thirty frames a second. Two K sixty. Ten eighty sixty. Ten eighty thirty. Ten eighty thirty.
Okay, my final sum up. What do I think of the Elephone Rexo Explorer K camera? It's not too bad. It's a, a good quality mid-range camera, I'd, I'd call it. The, the tonal rendition is beautiful, beautiful uh, smooth blue skies, none of that pink banding that you get in a lot of other of the mid-range cameras. The video isn't super sharp, it's okay. I suspect this one is a little bit soft on the right hand side, it may be just a problem with this camera. Might be a little bit of quality to control, I'm not too sure. But there are a lot sharper cameras around in this range. That was a little bit disappointing. The still images are crispy sharp, bright, colourful, nice tones, look really really good. Uh, the wide dynamic range is always on and it works really well. You get really nice shadow detail, uh, never too contrasty. Uh, the audio is disappointing, although it has stereo microphones in this camera, the audio is not very good at all. I have seen another review on YouTube where the audio was a lot better quality than this one, so again, I think maybe there's a problem with this particular camera. Uh, it's version one of the firmware. I think a lot of these things can be improved. They really need to get rid of that start and stop sound. That's just terrible at least give the option of turning it off. So I'd call it a reasonable mid-range camera with some good potential. The Elephone Rexo Explorer K 4K camera from Gearbest. Thanks for watching.